Today, we are going to be going over when everything seems important using Microsoft To Do to help you prioritize. So we'll be going over how to use Microsoft To Do and some tips to help you prioritize while using To Do. So when you sign in in the morning or you get to work, this may be how your morning feels. Do you have deadlines? Do you have due dates? Everything seems important. You have meetings to go to, projects, and you might start thinking to yourself, you know, where do I start? Where do I even begin with this, you know, huge list of things to do? You start writing down scraps of paper, getting on the phone and writing reminders for yourself. And I know it feels like your desk ends up looking like this, filled with notes and reminders to yourself. It's overwhelming. We want to put an end to that. We want to get you using this tool to help you organize yourself and getting rid of all that paper, just replacing your, you know, post-it stack with, um, with this app. It's really simple. Microsoft really made it an easy to use tool. It's a really a task management app to help you plan and manage your daily agenda. So it is a daily planning app. You want to log in every day, just open it up and start putting your tasks in there. And you can take these with you on the go. That's great for you know us right now as we are working from home and some of us may be in the office, we're far apart. You can take this um, anywhere. You can have it on your phone, uh, on the go, wherever. And it is available on a desktop and as a mobile app. Um, and it's gonna really help you manage your tasks. It's gonna you know keep them in one place. You're gonna be able to access different lists instead of having a bunch of different pieces of paper with all your tasks and to-do lists on it. You can manage it easier just here. And we are also, you know, just this is going to maximize your tools. If you have Office 365, you have this tool already. We're just going to get you using it. Um, so as I mentioned before, it is available on your desktop and your mobile. It's a great feature. Um, and this is what it looks like on both devices. So on your desktop, you see it's a full, obviously a fuller image and, um, you know, more easy on the eyes than on your phone. Um, and you have your task bar over here with um, a bunch of lists that are, you know, loaded up already in there to help you kind of start managing my day, important tasks, planned things that were assigned to you, um, flagged emails and tasks and also uh, creating new lists. And if we put these side by side with the mobile app, we see that you have the same functionality on your phone and it syncs. It's great to take on the go if you're in the field, if you're in construction, however, um, however you use it, same functionality no matter where you are, it's really great. Um, so another thing is when to use to do. I really wanna to stress today that this is for your personal um, management, your personal tasks, your own assignments. Um, and whereas something like Planner in Microsoft is more of a team task management, um, planning tool. So again, to do not a, a managerial tool for a, you know, a large project where you're communicating with a lot of people, it's really just for your own personal agenda. So again, assignments versus projects. Now that doesn't mean that you can take a task and put it in your to, to do list and kind of break it down for yourself. Um, where in a, a larger platform for project management, you know, it takes a lot of time to do that for each person individually. Take it upon yourself to break down that task into manageable steps that may really makes the difference in feeling like you get something done and also showing your progress. Um, making to do work for you. So now we're going to go over first some techniques for prioritizing using to do and then we'll get into the actual tool. But first, let's think about how you're going to start prioritizing as you're putting your tasks into to do. So first, you're going to empty your brain or is what we call an FA, a brain dump, just kind of putting all of your tasks down, getting anything that you can think of that you have to do into to do. And then you're going to start focusing on what's important. This is where prioritizing really begins right after you, you know, kind of put everything down, you're going to want to start asking yourself some questions. You're going to want to see how important is this task? Is this something that is, you know, high priority? I want to put it, you know, at the first of my to-do list, or is it something that may belong, you know, in a different, um, a different part of my day, not something, you know, that has to get done right now. Um, how is it compared to other tasks on the list? If you're like, well, this is kind of important, but not as important as this, you know, start comparing your tasks. See what you feel you have to get done more urgently, things that can wait. And then in addition to that, is there any other task that's dependent on this task? So when you're considering a task, 
see if um, you have to complete this test before something else or if there's something that you have to do or receive from someone before you complete the test. So this is also helping you to see if there's if there are any steps you have to take before getting the task done. It's really, you know, it helps you kind of plan your day a little better. You're going to gain perspective by doing this and then you're going to start completing your tasks. Um, and then you can start thinking about if you want to share that list and how you're going to use this list. So, you know, this is really going to help you um, manage your day and manage your tasks. So to empty your brain, you're going to use your tasks. You're going to log into my day. You're going to see that screen. You're going to start putting your tasks in there. And then from there, you can create tasks, things that you have to do today, things that you can put off and plan them, create checklists for things that you have to do often. Um, you can start creating lists that there's, you know, common things that have to get done and it's maybe part of a larger project. You can start doing that and create to due dates for yourself in there, you know, to make sure that your project keeps moving along. You can also set reminders on your tasks. If it's something that you, that you want to start in 20 minutes, you know, I just want to work on this for one more hour and then, you know, move on to something. Just remind yourself, you know, move on, do something else. And then also important to physically check off that, um, that item when you're done. You'll hear a little ding, very satisfying to know that you got something done today. Um, it's really great to see all the things that you have crossed off on your list. What a great feeling to know that you are getting things done. And also involving others in, in your list. You know, for those who are in leadership roles watching this right now, what's the easiest way to get something off your plate? So give it to someone else. So you can even just bang, uh, bang out a list for them. You know, this is what I want done and these are the steps. Here you go. And, um, you know, a small little test can turn into um, an easy one for someone else to take over that way. So it's really great to use to do just for yourself and also for handing things off, um, maybe to make yourself clear in what you're expecting. Um, so how do you use to do? So this is where we're gonna get into the app and see how, uh, how you can really start using this. So first we're gonna go over adding and completing tasks. And you wanna do this to accomplish the things by when you need them. So as I said before, this is what's gonna happen when you open up this app. You're gonna see your day and you're gonna go to the My Day tab. And down here at the bottom, just start typing in your task. Uh, today we wanna get done, um, we wanna send out our summer email campaign. So there are a few things that we can do with this um, task and we'll go over them here. So first we can click on tasks and it'll go into our task list. So. That's something, um, you know, not something that I want to do today. I want to manage it later, throw it in tasks. Um, then we have the calendar. So this is going to allow you to set a due date or you can set a reminder if it's something that you want to do later in the day and just remind yourself to do it. And then we also have recurring. So suppose this is a task that you have to do bi-monthly or yearly. You can set it to come up later again in your to-dos. Um, so that you remember, oh, well, now it's the time where, you know, we have to start thinking about doing a certain quarterly report or anything like that. Um, good to just set yourself a recurring re reminder. So when we're done, we're going to press enter. We're going to press that little circle next to the task and it's going to load up into our to-do list. Um, and from there, when we complete the list, we're going to turn uh, this task, excuse me, we're going to click this little circle and it's going to show up as completed. It's gonna line through it, yay, we completed a task. Um, and it will continue to show up in your list unless you click this little button here and it will boop, bring them up. And then um, you won't see it on your list. You'll only see the things you have to complete for the rest of the day. You can also, as I mentioned before, share and print lists, keep your team in the loop with a physical or digital copy uh, version of your to-do list. And this is great for keeping those in leadership roles, um, you know, just aware of where you are in certain projects. And we're just gonna click on these three little dots at the top of our um, at the top of our list and we'll get this drop down menu. And from here, you can see that you can print or email the list. When you choose the email, it will give you a little link and you can send that off um, or print the list and just hand it off. Or maybe you wanna just have, you know, some people can't get rid of their paper and you can just hold on to that. I just also wanna mention here that you can change the theme of each one of these lists here. And this is great just to um, personalize it and kind of incentivize yourself to use this. Encourage yourself to use this tool by making it attractive and appealing to you. 
um, you know, if it looks good, it'll kind of encourage you to use it. Really make it your own, like a notebook almost. You want to personalize this tool. We're also going to manage due dates in To Do. So to do that, um, we're going to add a task. So let's say we have another task that we want to get do, uh, get done that, that came into our mind, and that is to update a contact list. So not something that we won't have to do right now. We're going to click on the little calendar here, and we can um, set it to do today, tomorrow, next week, or pick a date. So you know, we want to set it for a, um, a little while ahead. We're going to pick a date and we're going to choose June 3rd. June 3rd sounds like a good date. Click on it and then it will um, show up here. You also see it show up under planned because that's something that's going to come up in the future. So if we click on planned, we'll see update contact list also reflected in that list. So a question is, what happens if you don't complete a task? If you don't complete something on your to-do list, it is going to show up under tasks. So if we click on tasks, we see, oh no, yesterday we didn't complete um, either task that we put on there, um, send a summer email campaign, campaign or update our contact list. So we, since we didn't do um, our summer email campaign, we're gonna click on it. And here we can see what we can do with that task right here. So maybe we just need to add a step. Maybe there's something we just need to, um, you know, check for um, just another proofread. We can add it back to our list by clicking add to my day. We can set a reminder. Maybe you just need to send it out today instead of yesterday. You can add a due date, um, set it to repeat, add a file. Maybe you wanted to add an image into that campaign, add a note to yourself. But if it's something, you know, you want to go in a completely different direction with this campaign, it's not working anymore, you can create a new list. So to do this, we are going to click on new list to the on the left here. And it's going to prompt you to rename a list. So we have to redo this project. We're going to name it Summer Email Campaign. We're gonna, and then we're gonna start creating it, um, putting a, um, putting your tasks in and adding the steps to uh, what you have to do to get this done. So here we have a few tasks, updating a link, creating a new draft and finding image. We find them all here. Um, so another way that you can do this is just by dragging and dropping an item into that list. So updating contact list, that's something that we have to do for this campaign. We can drag it and drop it into summer email campaign. And then we see it reflected in that list. Super easy, so easy. And you can do that with any list. You can start adding um, tasks into those lists as you create them. So you don't have to have anything waiting in your tasks. You can have them on a list so that you know that they will get done. Very simple, very straightforward. You're also going to see some of your tasks from Outlook show up in your um, uh, to-do. So those are going to show up under flagged emails. Um, and any flagged email that you have flagged in Outlook is going to show up into to-do. Into, to -do. <laughs> so these are going to, if they aren't tasks, you can just take them off and pay them no mind. But if they are tasks, you can just drag and drop them into one of the lists or check them off and flag the email. You can leave them, you know, as they are. Uh, but just another fun feature. Another thing that you can do is above, um, do above flagged email, you see important. You can star certain um, tasks and put it in that important list. So if those are things that are urgent, you know, ooh, you know, I have to get that done by the end of today, put it in the important. And those are things that are gonna, you know, just keep you in line with your due date. So now you know how to do this. You can make your tasks more manageable in this tool. Um, you're gonna use it for your personal prioritization. Again, managing yourself, not really um, a team or managerial tool. You can get a thumbs up, update your supervisor. You know, if, if there is something that you're working on, you can send them your to-do list and you say, look, this is how I broke down this project. Um, and this is how I'm going to get it to you on time. Um, so you can expect, you know, this material from me on all these due dates. It's a really great way to kind of boost your um, prioritization and your self-management. And again, just on the simplest, of tasks, you're gonna plan your days a little better. You're gonna know 
how how much time you're going to spend on each task. You're going to allot yourself, you know, um, a certain amount of time for each task. And it's going to really help you plan your days better. So you're going to make to do work for you. So side by side here, we're going to really look now that you know how to use to do. Um, we're going to go back to our um task uh, checklist for prioritization so emptying your brain that's going to go under my day focus on what's important that's going to go under the important uh list or the tasks you can start creating your lists there you're going to gain perspective so you can start planning ahead or creating new lists as you see your tasks play out how they how they kind of play out together and what's most important. And then you're gonna start completing your tasks. You're gonna start checking them off in my day or in any other list that you create. And then you can start involving others. And again, that's just in those three little dots at the top right of your screen. And you're gonna be able to share, print, and print that list from there. So to do, you're going to prioritize your tasks and conquer your to-do list. And that is how to use to do. It's really that straightforward and simple. I hope that you found uh, a way that you can manage yourself better or your daily tasks better by using to do. You can let us know um, how you are using to do or if you would like to know more about to do by emailing webinars at faconsulting.com. Thanks for joining me today. I had a lot of fun going over to do with you and I hope that you join us again next time for our next lesson or session or training. Um, thanks again for joining us and have a good day. Bye-bye.